Hello and welcome back to section three. And uh, I will try to conclude, but I might be very fast. Please forgive me because uh, we have only five minutes for this section, and uh, we don't have uh, we have uh, more than a few slides. So uh, we are going to talk about a few uh, comparisons and updates. With, uh, comparisons with political theory, the the practice of council democracy and update to to that and um, a few outlines as polit uh, as uh, principles uh, constitutional principles so uh, i basically rely on hannah arendt's uh, arguments for the council system in uh, as as the, as the as a framework a theoretical framework and uh, arendt's arguments for the council system comes through certain early works until 1963 basically you can see that through uh, the slides if you have to have a look uh, there are certain conver convergences between council system in practice and council system in Hannah Arendt's work one of them is that Arendt's council system and the Kurdish model address conflicts in the Middle East both are a political proposal uh, or both are political proposals for Palestine and Kurdistan uh, to solve, you know, uh, national conflicts uh, in these contexts. Uh, in both Arendt's and the Kurdish model, uh, there is a negative perception regarding sovereignty and capitalist modernity as well, and both have uh, a very collective understanding of uh, freedom. Uh, we could extend it actually after my fieldwork, I could say that this collective understanding of freedom in the cases of Mexico come to fore as well. And um, in the, the administrations also refer to all democratic socialist revolutions and anarchist experiments as humanity's legacy, which come forth in Arendt's work too. So both in the, in the cases and in Arendt's work, we can see that it's an amalgamation, council democracy or council autonomy is an amalgamation of uh, all democratic experiments and norms, standards that have been uh, experimented with or thought about, written about in, in history. Do the cases in Mexico meet council democracy? Well, before the field work and before my research, I thought they would meet in the the Aristotelian project of Christian utopia imposed by colonial Spain via isolating indigenous people in autonomous municipalities. So that was my initial idea. But after the research, I, I found out that well, democracy has been all over the world in a variety of forms and uh, Council democracy should have been part of the natural history of the, the cases in Latin America, in, in Mexico as well. So they do meet and it's uh, not through uh, the West, but it's through the, the history of uh, Latin America itself. Uh, one update is that revolutionary councils in Arendt's work emerge spontaneously and are crushed by political parties. This is very interesting in my cases. In practice, uh, these pro uh, the processes you know, that lead to the emergence of these councils and assemblies is actually driven by political movements or political parties, or they are ancestral forms. Uh, in the in the case of Rojava, but in the case of Mexico, yes, uh, political parties and council system are uh, very much separated from one another. In Iran's pyramid-shaped uh, institutions, uh, political power is generated at every layer. But in practice, we can see that political power actually runs from bottom to up. Just to uh, show you this. This is uh, the political power in a representative system that goes from top to down. In the case of Rojava and other cases as well, it goes from bottom to up. We have seen it. So there is finally outlined a few principles to talk about. Uh, they all three cases inspire struggles for democracy in, in their regions and in the globe. 
they help restore, restore dignity to politics and democracy because there is a, a diminishing trust in political class, a diminishing trust in democratic institution, and there is a phenomenon of democratic backsliding all over the world. But in these cases, they restore the, their faith in politics and in democratic institutions. And they are not utopian, so they do not try to impose their one ideology, their utopia upon the people. They expect and try to have people to accept their, uh, let's say, their political project uh, through convincing uh, or through, let's say, as in, in some cases they will say uh, education or um, academias. They, they have certain uh, educational institutions try to reach people and uh, convince them that their political project is better than their rivals. Few novel democratic principles. We will go one minute or so over, but it's important to uh, point out that we the peoples in their project replaces we the people. So diversity comes in instead of a unified monistic national identity. There is a rejection of man majority minority. And in all of these cases, they say if our project is, uh, you know, implemented. Uh, then we don't have to worry about minority mi majority divide. Everyone will be ruling themselves through councils and autonomous uh, and assemblies. There is also uh, the concept of autonomy replaces sovereignty. Sovereignty is domination. The same thing with domination. It's in theory and in practice as well. And autonomy means uh, just uh, political freedom in in in. Uh, in its, uh, let's say, political form or <laughs> its council autonomy form. Equality between plural sides of power, it replaces the understanding that there should be a supreme authority deciding about certain issues. No, they say, well, issues could be decided by local sides of power, plural sides of power. So we don't have a supreme authority in these cases. And there is self-defense uh, that uh, replaces the monopoly over the legitimate use of violence. So every community, every, uh, let's say, neighborhood, village, or commune has the right to self-defense instead of delegating or uh, giving up its power to, uh, to exercise their own uh, right to self-defense. That's another important constitutional principle that will uh, change politics as we see or as we know it in, in nation states. And there is direct delegatory and consensual or consultative democracy. It replaces representative democracy. We have talked about it, but consensus again uh, should be emphasized. So they try to make decisions with true consensus, not true claiming to have a supreme authority or to know things better. Thank you very much. That will be all. And uh, I hope you we will uh, address certain things in the question and answer se uh, section.